Ray KD2 IVP. This is what a roasted SO239 connector looks like after it's been exposed to RF. It probably wasn't a tight connection. This was connected to a uh, MJF Mighty Fine Junk 915 1 to 1 RF Ballon. It's basically just uh, 13 inches of coax cable wrapped around with a couple ferrite beads. If you look at the connector there, that's pretty toasted. Burned up pretty good. That's what it looks like before you set it on fire. And we're going to open it up and see what it looks like inside. I don't think it's going to look like much. I think uh, the arc was just between the ground and the uh, center pin on the uh, SO239. And it just caused some arcing and just burned the hell out of it. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, so I opened it up, and uh, it was pretty easy. All I did was put the, uh, the tube in a vise and put a pipe wrench on the ends, and I gave it a twist, and the glue broke free. But if you look, this is the, the charred SO239 connector on the outside. On the inside, it doesn't look charred at all. Um, so uh, I stuck, stuck my nose in there, and I didn't see anything. I'm, I'm going to just... Disconnect this SO239 and uh, maybe replace it. But I, I, I think my rig is doing pretty well without this uh, RF choke. And uh, I'll tell you why a little later. But uh, let's open this up and see what it looks like with the ferrite, the ferrite beads. Okay, so uh, this is what it looks like inside the MFJ 915 RF choke, or they call it a one to one balun. I don't know it's really a ballon, but that's it. It's just a bunch of ferrite beads wrapped around a piece of coax. Um, I forget the type of coax it is. It's small, but uh, it's got a heat shrinking tube around the ferrite beads. There's probably about 30 of them, if not more. Maybe 36, I don't know. It says in the specs, but uh, they didn't roast. The only thing that roasted on this was the end cap. The SO239 connector. Stinks to high heaven, but you know, you could replace it and put it back together. But I'm going to see how it works without it. I have like a air choke out there, which is a several wraps of coax cable going into the uh, connector that splits my uh, inverted V dipoles. I'm going to take that for a ride. If I don't get any RF back to the shack and everything behaves itself quite well, I think I might just leave well enough alone and just keep this out. Less components in the system, the better off, I think. KD2 IBP.